Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are heading up to... Where is it? There. This mission, the fourth initiation. And uh, doing that, we're going to eliminate a group of new Jericho soldiers occupying a sacred site. Now, that obviously will reduce our friendliness with new Jericho. But it will take us up above 50 for the Disciples of Anu. Which means that we will be will be sharing their tech, or they'll give us access to all their research. So I think we're going to do that. But let's take a look at our bases. We're building the containment. That's eleven hours away. Uh, base two. We have that satellite uplink. We'd really like another satellite uplink. Though, at the moment, we have a scan going there and nowhere else. But since we're heading up this way, we could go up and set start a scan up here. And I think we're going to do that. All our soldiers are fine. And there we go. Let's start a scan here. And head over here. Oh, last time we also got a new uh, class of soldier. Where is he? There. Ryun, look at him. Or uh, Ryun. We'll call him Malkir. Or Bounce. Let's call him Bounce. Look at that gear, man. It's so awesome. And the stuff he can do is just amazing. I can't wait to take him out. But first, I want him to get at least a couple of levels. So... Let's see, Brian here is already level 5. Just from staying at base, he hasn't been on a single mission. And neither have uh, has Steven here. So we really need another, uh, another craft as well. But first, let's ho head over and do this mission for them. Exploration site, the fourth initiation, mission briefing. A group of Jericho soldiers is occupying the site which is considered sacred by the disciples of Anu. The blind legate has tasked us to destroy them in the name of the exalted. Let's start the mission. And deploy our squad. Because everyone is ready. We have the new Jericho assault rifles to fight the new Jericho guys. And hammer, and shotgun, and a sniper rifle. So let's deploy the squad. This is a pretty damned exciting mission, I have to say. I am looking forward to this one. I hope we are equipped to take them out, but missions have been reasonably acceptable so far, but this is a whole new ball game, I think. Uh, let's see. This is, of course, a temple. And we have a heavy over here who has Scepter and MG Gauze machine gun. He has a Fury 2 missile launcher. We need to take him out and we need to take him out fast. He can jet jump. He has 140 hit points, so that's not too bad. But how much armor did he have? 40, 33, 40, 35, 40, 35. Jesus. So. Oh. Shooting him in the face is what we want to do. That is what we really want to do. Let's see, we have our sniper here. There's not much cover there, but there's much cover anywhere that he can get. Let's move over here. Targeting. And see what he can do. He could shoot him in the face. He missed. Dang it. All right. Let's dash you up here. We spotted a sniper. Hmm. This isn't a great shot. It isn't better on the heavy. And the Heavy has much more armor than Sniper, so let's just take this shot. Center mass. Oh. 
Did some damage at least. Take another one. 40 damage there. Alright. Now we don't want to be clustered too much together for uh, for that. Uh, ooh, can we dash up there? We can. No rest for the wicked. So we don't we don't want to be too clustered together for uh, that missile. Ready to fire. Oh, that's a terrible shot. This is a better shot, but. You know what? I'm gonna overwatch this. Out to there. And we'll send you over here. I, I really want to spread out. Because that missile scares the crap out of me. Uh, they're probably all over in that area, right? I'm on the move. Let's overwatch this way. And then there's you. We really just want to get you as close as possible. So you can start swinging your hammer. And then there's you. We want you as to get as close as possible as well. And that's it for now. Okay, so there's someone up there. That's another heavy. Another sniper. Did some damage to his rifle. Another heavy. Holy. Alright, he overwatched. Ah ha ha. Okay. No choice but to keep going. Let's use our med kit here. Resting up a bit. Now who can you shoot? Now, this is not a half bad shot. Alright. And you can shoot him as well. Didn't hit much though. Alright, that's better. Okay, then there's our sniper. Can't see a damn thing from here. Now from here he can see up here and see ah see this heavy. All right. But that leaves him out in the open. I really don't like that. Out. Let's move up here. That sniper down here. Oh, that's a terrible shot, isn't it? Couldn't connect the shot. Dang it. Can you move? No. Comms online. This is bad. This is bad. Now you could dash in here and whack him twice. And I think that's exactly what you're gonna do. Now where is the best spot to be? I Gotta think it's here. Alright, let's strike. 
Right, he's dead. That's very good. Then this guy can dash something like up here and take this guy out. Dash up here. And dash. Let's first see what we can see. I really like high cover. There is no high cover anywhere. So let's dash. Actually, there he can see two guys. Him and him. Right, that's fine. Uh, dash up there. Fire our weapon. He's down. And the heavy. But we're going to go for the face of the heavy. Zero damage. Now we have this guy left. Who can dash twice? And then we can get into a position where he can take him out. Now... Hmm... This is risky. Hmm. What if we came here? Let's see. Is this going to be enough to take him out? It's going to have to be wasn't but he lost his rifle so that's good he only has a handgun now this guy is dangerous though but now we can come back and hide here now there's this heavy up here who I actually forgot about So there's a sniper here. How much health does he have left? 16. But it doesn't really matter because he can't do anything. It's the two heavies that are the worry. So let's end the turn. Right, he is jumping. Which is actually okay, I think. Because that means he can't use his weapon. Stay sharp. Oh, there's another snipe. Oh. oh, I knew it. I knew it. Did it do any damage to them, though? I don't think it did. It didn't do any damage to us. That's pretty good. All right, now you. Keep it together, operative. You kind of need to heal up. You kind of need to heal up. But first, let's okay. move in here and smack him. We disabled his arm. How much health does he have left? 20. But we could take a shot at him, but that means that we need to take out both of these heavies. Which is not going to be easy. Trying so I think you'll come back here. And then next time we'll heal you up. Now, I would like to see what's on the ground there. Pick that up. Now, Sniper, you can't see anyone 
and you can't get to anywhere where you can see anyone. So... We're gonna have to come up into some cover. You know what? If you come up here into full cover... Fire. Targeting. Fire. Nice. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Alright. Then we have you. Well, not you. You. You're in a bit of a pickle. You are in a bit of a pickle. Now, this guy is going to bleed out, so he doesn't matter. But what you're going to do is dash... Uh, in here. Actually, do we want to dash? I think we do. We'll come back here. Dash. Mm. You know what? Dash over there. And we're going to shoot him in the face because that's the least... Ooh, we could take out the Deceptor. Someone passed me a pistol! Ha ha! Alright, and then we could also take out the Fury. What else does he have? He has the Fury, and then he's basically out of stuff. So, let's take out the Fury. Weapon down! Alright, so he is out of weapons. That's pretty good. Now, can you... How many times can you dash? You can dash twice. So he could take out... A weapon as well. And then we have you. You can dash once. And you can dash once. So if you dash up here. And then dash. I think... Uh, wait, do you... Is, is your Deceptor gone? No, it's not. So, dash over here. And fire your weapon. Why doesn't he have the Deceptor in hand? Fire at the Fury. And we'll fire at the Fury again. I can't use the Equipment destroyed. Fury. Okay. Channel open. You can dash once. Up here. Keep on pushing. Well, and then you can run in here. And shoot at the Deceptor. Doesn't destroy it, but... Better than nothing. Get into cover. You can't do anything. You can dash. How far can you dash? There. Alright, let's dash to there. Now how long, how far can you run and still fire? Not very far. 
we just get into full cover. And Overwatch. Hmm. I guess this way. That's it for this turn. He died. Ooh, uh, it wasn't too bad. He didn't do, do too much damage. And that guy is weaponless. So that's pretty good. Wasn't too bad. Alright. Now you... Definitely... Need to heal up. On the move. And then come over here. Snipes. Can you shoot anything from anywhere? It doesn't look like it. So that means that you can... I can't shoot anything from anywhere. But you can come Sending up here and pick up some stuff. What do we have? Cyclops. Um, go to missile and a handgun. Not bad. And there's you. Actually, there's you. No, let's do you first. And just take out his weapon. Well, should we try and not take out his weapon and see if we can get it? So you can come all the way over here. Shoot him in the face. Alright, that killed him. He didn't drop anything. Now there is something up there that I want. Hey. Mag. Fine. We'll take it. And why can you not fire your weapon? Ah, I used your movement points. No one can dash really. Right, you can come up here. Acquiring target. And do a bit of face shooting. Uh. And you. Can come up I'm here and do a do bit of face shooting. Uh. Alright. That's that turn ended. can dash once. Let's see, can he get over there and, and whack him? No. Alright, never mind then. You can get over here and shoot him though. And that's a definite kill because that is a shotgun. Hmm. There we go. Very good. I was a little bit worried there for a while, but we did okay. Got some nice experience points, and we did the Disciples of Anu a favor, and we did the fourth initiation. So that was a pretty successful mission, I'd say. Pretty successful mission. Do you understand why your actions were necessary? Why the site is sacred? It is here that the conditions existed which brought forth a better body with a free mind. One without the other is meaningless. The Exalted bids us understand. Why here? To fathom why the site is sacred is to fathom how other sites may become sacred also. Okay. To be honest, I don't really fathom why, the, why it's sacred, but... I'm sure we'll find out. Keep on this path, and you shall hear the voice of the Shadowed Hierarch, and after him, the wisdom of the Synod of Yearning. Alright. So, 
I guess, so that would be the fifth initiation, the Shadowed Hierarch, and then the sixth initiation, the Synod of Yearning, and then I guess the seventh when we meet the Exalted, if we do ever. We'll see. So, let's see. Disciples of Anid, Attitude to Phoenix Project, plus five. New Recruit has joined the Phoenix Project. Carry Beef Chimco, nice. Tech, 200. Materials, 200. Food, 200. And we have changed the Dinapur diplomatic relations with the disciples of Anu. Very, very cool. Let's continue. All right. Now, let's look at... Ooh, it didn't do anything for the New Jericho. Very nice. But now we are aligned with the disciples. So we have access to some... Nice stuff. Tiamat development. While appearing to be a piece of technology, the Anu dirigible is part machine and part living organism. Based on the sign of a pre-plague airship, the disciples of Anu have enhanced their version, making it more durable and efficient. The ship can sustain heavy damage while transporting a squad of eight soldiers. Nice. To any desired location. Speed and maneuverability are considerably lacking though the craft makes up for it with its storage capacity and range. All right, that looks really cool. Disciples of Anu aircraft, like it. All right, so Disciples of Anu equipment, let's do that. The Exalted teaches that while the Pandora virus was sent by the dead god, it is not to be worshiped. The Pandoran Plague, sometimes referred to as a Great Flood, is a punishment for humanity's sin and an opportunity for self-improvement, and fighting the Pandorans is an essential part of humanity's path to a better future. That is why the Disciples of Anu have de developed their own equipment to instill pride and faith among its warriors. Very cool. So, Acolyte Helmet, Acolyte Leg, Acolyte Body Armor, and this is a lot of speed, right? Yeah. And then the Iconoclast shotgun and Iconoclast magazine. Very nice. Anu religion. Let's have a look at that. The disciples of Anu are syncretic, are a syncretic religion dedicated to the pursuit of biological perfection. Strongly hierarchical, they are led by a being known as the Exalted. We'll get 200. Uh, materials and 400 food for doing that one. Very nice. The Exalted teaches that the source of human suffering is that, is that perfect human souls are trapped in imperfect human bodies. Humanity is insufficiently evolved and the flaws inherent in our current biology are the cause of the terrible things our history is so full of. The Pandora virus is both a form of divine punishment and an opportunity for the faithful to biologically improve themselves. These principles are set down in the Gospel of the Exalted, which also foretells the coming lit liturgy of the Divine Flesh, an eschatological event that the disciples must prepare for. I have no idea what that word means. It is important to note that the disciples do not worship the Pandorans or the Pandora virus, virus but see them as obstacles to be overcome and the road to biological perfection. Right. So if anyone knows what that word means, please feel free to tell me because I don't have a clue. All right. The bonus effects and we have more research. We have the Berserker class. Let's do that. The Berserker class, according to the teachings of the Exalted, the Berserkers represent another step towards the perfection of the human body. Their enhanced combat abilities and greater tolerance for radical mutation are a manifestation of the soul of the warrior embodied in each of them. That which is best within them, a new pamphlet claims, the desire to fight and sacrifice for the greater good has now been given biological expression. In keeping with Anu methods, the rhetoric disguises significant advances in biotechnology and careful strategic planning. The Berserker soldier class was devolved to counteract certain weaknesses in the Anu military, as perceived by Taxi Art Nagal and the Blind Legate. But the technologies and training protocols involved will prove just as useful to the Phoenix Project. Ooh. 
And that means we got the Maduk's Fist, the Nagal's Wrath, Nagal's Wrath Magazine, Aksu Helmet, Leg Armor, and Body Armor. Very nice. Then we have Mutation Technology. Let's have a look at that. This technology represents a first step towards mastering the mutation mechanics of the Pandora virus. Test subjects have been injected with modified strains of the infection under carefully controlled conditions and with the additional and with the addition of a chemical cocktail intended to keep the virus from asserting control over the subject. The process is still experimental and there may be some side effects, but the potential benefits to our soldiers are worth the risk. Ooh. Armored head, 30 armor, nothing for speed, minus four perception. The accuracy I don't really care about. Days immunity, immune to days effects, cool. All right, so stomper legs, disciples of Anu stomping legs mutation. Armor 30, speed minus two, deception, accuracy plus 20%. That's very nice, but this one takes it down 15. That's a net gain of five. Then we have regeneration torso. Oh, did this have uh, any other effect? Yes, stomp. Perform shock attack, affecting a five tile radius, radius Dazing targets if shock value uh, is greater than target hit points. Shock damage falls off with range. Right? Regeneration torso, armor 34, speed minus 2, I don't like that. Don't like that it's reducing accuracy. Regenerate, restore 10 hit points to all injured body parts and general hit points each turn. Fire resistant, reduces effect of fire damage by half. Okay, this is pretty cool, but I'm not sure I want to use it really. Maybe for uh, an assault with an assault with a shotgun, might I might use it with? But that's about it. All right. Then we have advanced melee weapons, a priest class, fungal food production. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Mutagen harvesting. Okay. So, let's have a look at advanced I melee weapons. So, through experimentation with different melee weapons and offensive and defensive techniques, techniques adapted from a variety of existing close quarter combat styles, a new set of melee weapons has been developed. So we know these, the Dagon's Tooth with the Bleed, and then the Scion of Sharur with Piercing, which might actually be nice because I guess that pierces the um, the armor, so that could actually be very, very useful. Very, very useful against something like a heavy. Bleed is nice too. All right, we are are getting so much stuff. Look at all this stuff. Oh, this is a. Uh, the Jericho stuff. Mut mutagen harvesting. Wow. A lot of interesting stuff coming up. But we are out of time, guys. So if you want to see what the Anu priest class is, the fungal food production is, etc., you are going to have to come back for the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.